I know that it's halfway through January and I'm a little bit late to the game, but I thought I would share with you guys my most anticipated films of 2018 anyway. So most... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I forgot to mention this. My puppy behind my head. Most of these 2018 <laughs> releases... Alfie, my boring. Anyway, I'll do it anyway, despite my critics. <laughs> Most of these 2018 releases for us British people will have already been out in the US. I just wish for the sakes of all us film buffs out there, of all nationalities, that films just got released on one day. Like, I know that isn't possible, but a girl can dream. The first film I'm really excited about in 2017 is Darkest Hour with Gary Oldman playing Churchill. He obviously won the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Drama for this, um, which I don't know if it's well deserved because I haven't seen the film yet. But Darkest Hour is released on the 12th of January over here. Another film I want to mention for that day is Three Billboards. Obviously you guys know I've seen it and I loved it so very much and I'm so excited about all the hype it got at the Golden Globes. So that comes out on the 12th in the UK. I'm going to see it again with my mum and my dad. Most of these films actually are sort of in the award hype at the moment. So the next one which comes out on the 19th of January is The Post. Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks like what more can a girl want? I love both of them, they're both incredible actors and I loved their interview on Ellen where they like played each other's characters that was really funny i think this sort of film reminds me along the same lines of spotlight which i adored it's gonna be a great one i'm really excited for it the next one is loveless which comes out over here on the 9th of february but i really think i'm gonna have trouble um finding somewhere that's screening it near me it's the russian film about um a couple going through a divorce and then their son son or daughter i think it's son goes missing the next film i'm really excited for is the shape of water obviously this one has got quite a lot of hype around it too i really love sally hawkins and octavia spencer sally hawkins obviously i love her in paddington so the shape of water is released on the 14th of feb over here ladybird 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 i'm so excited for this one i love it and i haven't even seen it yet i just i'm so confident i'm gonna like this film but I'm gonna try and go in with no expectations whatsoever. I, Tonya. I'm really looking forward to this one. I had not actually heard the story of Tonya Harding before until I saw the trailer. What sparked my interest for this film are all the film stills I saw flying around the internet and Margot Robbie, just Margot Robbie really, I think she's brilliant. Oh, I don't even know. I can't wait to see it. I think it's gonna be really great. So a film coming out like a week after my birthday. Is it a week? It is, exactly a week after my birthday is I Love Dogs. I need to just, Side note, right, one thing I hate is I've had so many people when they find out I'm a film student, or even when they find out I'm just a film fan, they're like, oh, are you one of those girls that says your film fan doesn't even like Wes Anderson? And I'm like, one, I do like Wes Anderson, but two, even if I didn't, it doesn't mean I'm not a film fan. Like, oh, it really annoys me when people was like that. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just run through these next ones really quickly. So, Truth or Dare and Slender Man. I'm kind of excited for these ones because I think they're either going to be like really good or really bad. So I'll definitely be seeing Truth or Dare and then Slender Man. I mean, I've never really known the story of Slender Man. I know that it's like been on the internet like forever because when I was at school, like when I was 12, it was everyone's worst nightmares. But, oh my God, what was that? Oh my God, stop. I'm talking about Slender Man. I feel like he's coming to get me now. I am not really a big follower of superhero films, but I do enjoy them when I watch them. Oh my god, I swear to god, I'm gonna have to check something. <laughs> okay, well, apparently there's not, but that scared me anyway. This year, I am really looking forward to Deadpool 2, because the first one really surprised me how much I enjoyed it. I liked the different direction it was taking, and I'm really looking forward to the second one. Another one that I can't wait for, I really hope they do a good job with it, is Jurassic World 2. I loved the first Jurassic World, I've watched it so many times. I love Jurassic Park as well. Quite later on in the year, Robin Hood. I'm a big fan of Taron Egerton. I like the story of Robin Hood too. Love, love a bit of Robin Hood. Um, and I'm pretty sure Leonardo DiCaprio was like a producer in this film, so it's got that Leo touch, it's gonna be good. Also, First Man. I love the thought of going into space. No, I don't, that's a lie. The thought of going into space, me going into space, terrifies me. Basically, it's Damien Chazelle and Ryan Gosling team up again. La La Land, my favourite film of all time. So collaboration with them two again is definitely something I'm excited about. One I'm actually unbelievably excited about and I know for a fact that all my friends are so excited and that is Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again. Oh my god, I'm such musical trash. Like I love a good cheesy musical. Really, really excited for the second one, even though I'm like, where is Meryl? And the final film of 2018 I'm so excited for. You guys must know what it is. Incredibles 2. Don't I need to say any more. Let's just hope the sequel lives up to expectations. So those are my most anticipated films of 2018. 
I know a lot of you are gonna think there are some missing and I'm sorry if I'm not as excited for some films as you guys might be. Sorry about that. That boy knows how to get comfy. 